Okay, so now we have all our credentials set up for the application. Let's have a look at logging in. So our carrier ID will be our username, which we set up uh, right at the beginning. And just one uh, thing to bear in mind here, if your username isn't capitalized, uh, make sure it isn't capitalized on your login as well. So that's our username. Our vehicle ID, which we've just assigned to the load as John. And then in here, we're gonna type our API key, which is the uh, password that was returned from Lean when we sent the email at the beginning. Okay, now if your login is successfully authenticated, you'll see this second screen which allows you to set a five digit passcode um, just to make it easier to log in if you've closed the application and you need to go back into it. And we can go ahead and click save on this to confirm. As soon as you've logged in, you will see the terms and conditions. Have a read through these. And then right down at the bottom, once we've scrolled through in red, um, we can click Accept, and this will take us into the main application. So now we've logged into the application, let's have a look at our loads. So on the first screen, you can see a list of stops with up arrows and down arrows, which represent either a pick or a drop. And above all those stops is a header which contains the load ID and the number of stops within that load. You can see there's two. We have five stops on this load. And right at the top, we have a number of stops, uh, six for the first load. So now I've taken a picture of the problem and I'm going to want to send a load note to Chet just to explain what the problem is and see if I can get some sort of advice. So let's say we arrive at a collection uh, to collect uh, a number of pallets and the pallets differ from the expected amount. We want to change that in the application so that the changes can be reflected um, within chat. So here we can see 125 pallets for collection. We're going to check in first. Now this will enable um, the amending of the quantities. So there's only 100 and we can see 125 crossed out 100. If we make a mistake, we can still um, update the quantity. So it's not 100, it's only 80 pallets. And we can press done. So now that we're able to report problems and update quantities, let's have a look at checking in. So here we can see the button at the bottom, check in. And this is for when the driver arrives at the site. Now you may see a pop up which says the GPS location doesn't match. We can force check in. So once we've checked in and the customer's confirmed the quantities, we can press complete stop. The customer can enter their name. They can then sign. If there's a mistake, they can press clear signature and make a second attempt. And then one sign will ask the customer to press complete stop. Again, a pop up if the geo coordinates don't match, and we can force through this. So that's the first stop completed. Now that the first pick has been completed, let's go ahead and complete the drop. Scrolling down, we're going to check in. 
push through. Play the stop. Now you can see the difference here on this screen for a completion of a drop or the final drop is that we also ask for the carrier to enter their name and sign as well. And this is just so we can complete the POD um, in completeness. If the driver is in an area where there's no network coverage, the application will indicate that it's currently offline. And there's a small number alongside this, which is currently zero in the image you can see, uh, which gives the amount of network calls that are currently queued that will be made once the driver is back in an area of network coverage. Once the driver has finished using the application, he can tap on the little cog icon on the top right and then he can safely log out of the application.